Two guys talking about life, and one of them says. You know, I recently realized, that my dog, is the only thing on earth, that loves me, no matter what. Confused by this comment, his friend says. I am sure your wife loves you, just as much. Well, I don't know about that. The first guy replies. But why? His friend insists. Say, I accidentally locked both, my wife and my dog, in the garage for five days. I bet you, when I finally opened the garage door to let them out, only the dog would be genuinely excited to see me. <laughs> One guy, went out on a Friday night, with his friends. They had a great time, but he got a bit carried away, and had one too many beers. So, by the end of the night he was quite drunk. His friends called him an Uber, and sent him home. The next morning, he wakes up and realizes, that he doesn't remember much, about how he got home. He stumbles into the bathroom to brush his teeth, looks in the mirror, and sees this huge purple bruise, around his eye. He goes into the kitchen, and sees his wife, sitting at the table, drinking her morning coffee. He asks her. Hey honey, what did you think, when I came into the door last night with this massive bruise on my face? She looks up at him and says. Don't you remember? It wasn't there when you came back. A lady walks into a pharmacy, and heads straight to the counter. A pharmacist asks her, if he could help her with anything, and to that she says, that yes, he could. She then says. I would like to get some arsenic please. Cautiously, the pharmacist asks her, what she needs the arsenic for, and she says, that she would like to use it, to kill her husband. Shocked, the pharmacist says. I am sorry, but I cannot do that. Without a word, the woman reaches into her purse, and pulls out a photo of her husband, making love to the pharmacist's wife, and shows it to him. The pharmacist looks at the photo and tells her. You should have told me right away, that you had a prescription. A man came to work extremely late one morning. Obviously, his boss is very unhappy about this, so he calls the man into his office, for a talk. When the man comes in, the boss asks him. So what happened this morning, that caused you to be so late for work? Embarrassed, the guy starts his story. He says. You see, I had to drop my son, at a kindergarten this morning. When we got there, it turned out, it was the wrong kindergarten. So off we went to a different one, and once we got there, it turned out, we were at the wrong kindergarten once again. So we went to a third kindergarten, and again, it was a wrong one. And when we finally arrived at kindergarten number four, my son said to me. Daddy, I swear to God. One more kindergarten, and I'm going to be late for school. A 62-year-old man, comes to a doctor's office, for an annual wellness check. During the visit, he excitedly tells his doctor. I am getting married next week. Wow! This is great news, says the doctor. How old is your bride, if I may ask you? She is 18, the old man replies. Hearing this, the doctor decides to warn the old man, and says. As your doctor, I have to advise you, to take it easy in bed, with your young bride. Extreme physical strain, can have devastating consequences, and can even cause death. Thanks doctor, I appreciate your advice, the man says. To be honest, I thought about this too, and decided, that if she dies, I will just have to find myself a new wife. A woman and her young daughter, went to a friend's house, for a visit. That friend, had recently adopted a beautiful sphinx cat, the breed, that is known for its lack of coat. The little girl, took a long look at the amazing animal, before asking her mother quietly. Mummy, what is this animal called? It is a cat, the mother replied. The girl thought for another moment, and said. But why is it inside out? A surgeon, is getting ready to perform his first ever operation on a patient, who also happens to be his father-in-law. 
both, are obviously, a little bit nervous. And, just as the anesthetist gets ready to administer the drugs that will put the patient to sleep, he says, that he would like to have a few words with his son-in-law. Once they are alone, he leans over to his son-in-law, and whispers in his ear. I just want you to remember son, that if for whatever reason, something goes wrong during the operation, and I won't make it. Your mother-in-law, would probably want to move in with you and your wife. Ah!